Okay, so if you've reached this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my yard and how I like to play with dance and I'm just inviting you to think a little bit differently about what's possible because you're at home. And we cannot do this in the studio and we can't do this in front of a mirror. We also can't do it when we have people all around us, but we can certainly do this in our own yard. So, you were looking at my fire pit there. I just did a little video about sand dancing over here, which is giving me a gallery of the entire set of trees that I can look at. And then I have these beautiful foundation rocks, which I love to get up on. I can tap dance on them, but I can also do all kinds of shapes and exploration. And if I bring my scarves out, I can pretend I'm one of the butterflies. I can be the birds. I can just be expanding and knowing. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a little walk because what I did this summer is I tried to find a way to share dance for myself a little bit more because I was home by myself. So this is our field out the back and I'm just going to keep walking you down. So they just finished rolling up the hay. So you can see up my field, which I certainly can dance up the field and I have done that because we keep a little bit of the field, you can see the green, we keep that mode and we have this little pathway that I love to walk around. But what I want to take you to is my little oasis that I built this summer. I don't have the opportunity of building a tree house and being able to dance in that, but I certainly can play in the trees and I can build my own spaces just to find little places that I might want to be just to be by myself and explore movement, maybe sing. Uh, maybe bring in an instrument. So as I come into my little pathway here, I have created a little space on this side with this beautiful rock. And we've got a squirrel there too. And the rock is covered with the beautiful moss, but it creates a great backdrop. So I could dance with the tree. I could explore around the rock. And I've got this whole bit of land in front, now covered in apples, um, that I could explore movement. But it's a big enough space that I could do a little bit of lyrical dancing in here. So I'm going to bring you down my path a little bit more. So I do have a pathway this way, but it's pretty uneven. It's kind of hard to dance on. So what I did was I came down this other little path that I created. And I'm just going to bring you through here. Um, this is fun because I can think about storylines while I'm coming through here and I can certainly think about maybe some exploration about the fairies in the garden. I could do some uh, tree dancing. I could think about the plants that are in here. I've been eating the raspberries. Um, the apples are now falling and <laughs> so there's different kinds of rhythms that come from that and just listening to the sounds so when we get to the bottom, what I'll do is I'll not talk so you can hear a little bit. But as I come through the path, we have, we have a lot of really cool shapes here. You can see this tree, the limbs. Um, I have done uh, picking music that has to do with the trees and exploring what branches do, what leaves do when you're dancing, and how the arms can be an extension just like the branches on a tree. But now I've got you down in my little spot where no one knows I am. Might be able to hear the cars out on the road. Um, but this just is, it's so covered in, nobody has to know I'm here. And I'm only a few meters from my house. So you can see all the way through there. But what's delightful is this beautiful rock. Because I could sit on this rock, I could dance on it, I could stand or I could sit, and I could explore with it. And then again, I have this beautiful tree behind and you can see it's got that branch up at the top there where I could do some extension similar to the branch. All right, so I promised you I would just let you listen to the sounds and we'll see if it can be quiet without the, uh, without the cars. Okay. 
Okay, now you can probably hear my feet. I've got so much underneath my feet. I can make a lot of different sounds. And I'm going to come up on top of the rock. I'm just going to bring it down. And right here. It's just so much fun to find different rhythms you can play with. And now I'm way up in, in the trees. I'm up in the branches. And I could play with extending up here. Extend the arms and explore movement that way. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the camera. And I hope I capture myself all right. So I bring it around. Okay, and so... I hope I've invited you to think a little bit differently about how you can do dance for you. This is an unprecedented time for us with dance. And to think that dance only is involved in a dance studio or in a very special room is the wrong way to look at dance. Dance is all around us every day. And how we decide to move and how we decide to explore makes us really happy when we can let go and just relax with it. So I am imploring you to take a look at your yard, take a look at things around your house, and while the weather is good, get outside. Find somewhere that you can just be happy moving. You can take your music out with you, or you can just listen to the sounds of nature, or you can create sounds in nature. It's up to you what you decide to do. But I hope you'll explore dance and have stories to tell me when we get to meet together. Take care. dance lesson just having some fun on the rock so let me find a rhythm Okay, so what did I do? I did a couple simple patterns. One is just tap your toe. Find the beat. Now you could tap the toe and not put the music in your body, but you want to put it in your knee. Let the beat come in. Bum, ba. Find the beat. Then you can add body percussion. You can also add a body percussion that goes So we have nine numbers we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I did in that little pattern just three. And I can add two stomps to it. One, two, three, boom, boom. Okay, so that's one way I could use body percussion. Body percussion can be done a lot of different ways, but that's a great pattern that I really love. And if you take your telephone number, you can take, um, mine starts 945, so I could do a 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I could put that together. And then I can play with routines and numbers that way. Okay, 
Now, I can dance on top of here, which I, <laughs> I love getting on top of things and dancing. And I, I did a paddle and roll. And if I come down just a little bit closer, a paddle and roll is a heel, a brush, a toe, and a drum. So the pattern is very, very simple. And I could do it up on the rocks. I could do it down here. But I also end up with some crunch downs if I stand on all the twigs. Heel, brush, toe, rock. And if that pattern's a little bit too much, I could just do toe, heel drop, toe, heel drop. So, it's just playing with rhythm. The thing about playing with rhythm is that when you get to do that, you have the opportunity to find a rhythm within you, find out where you make mistakes. I make a lot of them and then find out how you can work through the mistake. So if I was to do what I did before, which I got nine totally fine, and then number four disappeared, and then I can go back through, is there a problem for me to get one, two, three, four? I can see, I can just play with it. And then I can play with it, adding it to the nine or adding it to the five. But when I work on those little patterns, I get better at them and I can get faster. I'll start out slow, I'll make mistakes, and then I'll be able to build. But what I can do with it afterwards is stop counting, stop thinking about how I'm going to do things, and just let them happen. And then I can listen to the sounds. When I start listening to the sounds, I'm going to find out where I still have problems, where I stutter a little bit with my hands and my feet, um, and where I, I don't coordinate quite everything. And that is my clue of where to practice. And I can start to smooth all of that out. And so if I come here to play, you know, the rhythms are my rhythms and I can do whatever I want. And if I make a mistake, it's okay because I know, oh, there was a, a part there where I stuttered. I need to spend some more time. I need to play a little bit more. And then it just advances it. So I gave you a little bit of body percussion, how to get to number nine. I gave you a little bit of tap dancing. I did a, a toe and then a heel drop, okay, which is two counts stamping and I also did a toe drop right so those are single counts and then I did the paddle and roll heel brush toe drop and all of those can be put into sequences so your job is to go and play with those patterns see what you can do and I'm going to advance the steps a little bit further as you get better at it so stay tuned happy practicing <laughs>